Hello, all the way gang, nuggets of wisdom. Just another teachable moment for you. Let's talk about it. Welcome back, why are they? Like, share, hit the notification bell for new content. I'll be sharing a little uh, snippet from one of my videos, one of the things I've been looking at as a young man that actually dropped something today. My topic today is, is a life hack moment, how you have to do with it. We're going to start a series called the Teachable Moment and you guys are going to be chopping it up and you're going to be seeing what we are trying to do here. So, with, did I say this? Let me quickly play this snippet and we can talk on the other side. Second. Right. The hardest lesson that I've learned this year. Sometimes it's better to just let things be. Let people go. Don't chase answers. Don't ask for an explanation. Don't fight for closure. Okay, that was very quick. Basically, the young man here is saying, neither could I put it so succinctly, but I just want to elaborate a little bit on what this young man said. Do not fight for closure. Do not explain yourself. You see, the way things are going today and many things, most of us are going to be in emotional turmoil the way things are going today. Simply because we are um, in that space again whereby we, we want to keep on explaining how we're going to come out of a relationship or whatever happens. But I want you to hear it one more time so you can hear it again. The hardest lesson that I've learned this year. Sometimes it's better to just let things be. Mm -hmm. Let people go. Mm -hmm. Don't chase answers. Mm -hmm. Don't ask for an explanation. Mm -hmm. Don't fight for closure. Mm -hmm. And don't expect people to understand where you're coming from. Man, neither could I say that better. So, you know, you could have said that better. Do not fight for closure. You see, I, I just want to elaborate on that a little bit. The reason being is that I, I life does not give you warnings, whether you like it or not. Life will not give you, oh, I'm coming to do this. Stuff just happens, man. Life just happens. He says, he says something that was very powerful. Do not chase answers. Don't. Because you're gonna you're gonna you are gonna rationalize, you're gonna overthink it, think it, and believe that something was there that was not there. Don't expect people to understand where you're coming from. Just remove yourself from that situation. Don't ask for closure. Closure is, I'm so shocked, I didn't know that this was coming. But if you keep on looking in that way, it absolutely, it makes sense that we are shocked as human beings because we're emotional beings. We wanna figure out what happened. What was the reason why things happened the way they happened. But I found out in my short life that you can never exhaust yourself in finding answers you know you can never exhaust yourself you're gonna try your level best to get things going but folks gonna do what they're gonna do what i love about it do not chase answers don't chase answers do not change do, do not look for closure that's hard to say man we had a history 
We worked together. The relationship was great. Why should I not ask for closure? Nah, that's not going to happen, man. Some people are not just going to give you that kind of closure you're looking for. It's just not going to happen. So it's easier that we don't waste our valuable emotions on trying to figure out how the whole story started. It's easier to look at things and say, lesson learned, I don't know what to say here, but I have to figure this out. But figuring out, trying to find answers will kill you, your your emotion, even it doesn't give you the strength to, for you to move forward. It don't give you the strength to actually open yourself up, get your own healing, because you are you are making your emotional life dependent on other people. That's a hard thing to do, y'all. So it's much more difficult. It's better that I love this. I, I wish I could say it better. Do not chase answers because there's some answers that can. Ne there's no some questions that will never be answered. So it's like you're going on hunting, going for a hunt, or on finding nothing, no prey, nothing to catch. This person, or whatever happened, made their decision, and as the old people say. Actions speak louder than words. Don't try and fix it. He's already giving you that, he or she has already given you that decision. Man, that was, that was short, but so straight to the point. And I don't know how many of us take, take this, uh, words extremely serious we're still looking in that kumbaya let's get together kind of um, life it ain't gonna happen brother they don't want to explain they don't want to give answers they don't know they don't understand where you're coming from sorry i'm, I'm, I'm sorry i'm gonna be the bell of bad news but they're, they're no longer, in their own eyes, you no longer fit into whatever they're looking for. So what's the point? Do not get it twisted. If you didn't hear anything I said, let this video be a teachable moment for you. Do not go after closure. If somebody's willing to ask, talk about it, do it. But in most cases, people don't. It's just a, it's just pure waste of time most of the time. And sometimes you get actually more emotionally bogged down than you trying to seek for the answers. I've seen people move in my life and one point is in that we are, we're all on a the, on, on the, on the good, good track, not all of a sudden, but they have made their decision, they have been making the decision known day by day and how they act and the different things they were doing. So I'm not going to beat the dead horse here. Take three points from this. Don't seek closure. Don't care where you're coming from. And don't chase answers. But I can go on. God bless this all over again. Just my teachable moment. God bless. I'm out.